Overseas now in a sixth night of violent protests in France over the fatal police shooting of a 17 year old during a traffic stop. Rioters targeting the home of a French mayor. He says his wife and child were both injured. Tonight, the grandmother of that teen speaking out. ABC's Inez de la Catera with her urgent plea. Tonight, fury in France. In this Paris suburb, a burning car plowing into the mayor's home while his family was sleeping inside. He says his wife and one of his children was injured. Across France, close to 3,000 detained since the violence first broke out on Tuesday, 700 alone overnight. Tonight, another 45,000 officers being deployed. French President Emmanuel Macron chairing another crisis meeting. The uproar after police shot and killed 17-year-old Nael at a traffic stop. His grandmother now pleading for peace, telling rioters to stop wrecking schools and buses, saying she can't bear this any longer. You can see stores here near the famous Champs-Élysées boarding up store after store, bracing for a sixth consecutive night of violence. Nael was of North African descent, activists raising questions as to whether race may have played a role. We are believing that the whole police system is 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 eaten by uh, by race uh, systemic racism and systemic violence and the state department issuing a security alert for americans traveling to france this summer more than a dozen cities imposing curfews and some public transportation services reduced rachel the country once again on edge tonight and as thank you Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.